Okay, welcome to ProFrame 2015 training videos. In this video, we're going to look at part two of order entry. We're going to confirm a work order. So let's get started. The last time I actually created a work order, but before we confirm a work order, I want to show you the print queue. What this is allowing me to view is work orders and it tells me whether they've been printed or not. It helps me track that type of information. Now you'll notice that there's one that has not been printed. So in order for me to reprint that, all I have to do is double click it and then reprint it. Okay? But in this case, I'm going to do this to show you so you can see it on the screen. Okay? So at this point, uh, and that's chop labels. I'm not going to print that. And as I quit, at this point now, it's been marked. So if I refresh it, uh, everything shows that it's been printed, okay? So I can use this program to track that type of information. And plus, this is the order that I created last time, which is 144A. All right, I want to show you another program that's called uh, tracking the status of it. So this is the order I created. Uh, those others are not in the time frame. So there's the one I just created and it, it's indicating that it's a work order and it's open. Okay. And again, I could double click this to actually reprint the work order if I needed to. Okay. So now at this point, we've printed the work order. It's been printed out in the warehouse and someone has pulled that order. So it's been brought back to our attention that it's been pulled and it's ready at the back door. It's been packaged and it's ready to be shipped. So at this point, we're gonna confirm that order as being ready to go. So it was 144A is what it was. So I don't have to necessarily enter the leading zeros. Uh, the program will take care of that for me. So it's pulled that order up and the print option is on to print what is going to look like an invoice and I want it's defaulting to one copy. Now that type of this stuff can be set up in the warehouse setup which would uh, default to how many copies I want of invoices. So there's the confirm date which is today's date. So at this point I have the ability to make changes to what I'm actually shipping. So let's say, for example, this guy, we didn't have 26. We only had 24, okay? So you could just change that to 24, all right? And now I can just click Apply. All right, the program, because I've got my lost sales trackers turned on, it's, it's allowing me to uh, save a record indicating that we lost two. Now, why did we lose two? Well, we was out of stock. So I'm gonna go ahead and answer yes to that so it'll save it. So at this point, I'm ready to click Save All. And now the program would loop back for me to enter another uh, work order number to confirm so I can sit here and confirm five or six or whatever work orders. And when I, when I finish, and I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna confirm another, and I don't know a number. So I'm just gonna list my orders, and I'm just gonna confirm another work order just to show you kind of how this is working. So here's this order. We're gonna basically, uh, the same day, we got one copy. I'm not gonna make any changes. It's all good. And I'm going to save. Now at this point, when I'm ready to print my invoices, if you will, then I can just click the print queue and you can see I've got two tickets in there and all I have to do is select print all and then it's going to print all of the invoices that I just confirmed. Okay, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to, instead, I'm just going to turn my print uh, automation off just so you can see what this is going to look like. So it's saying confirmed at the top of the screen. That's because I've 
I've set that up in my warehouse to do that. I could change that to read, you know, invoice, which most people do, but this is a confirmed order. Now it looks like an invoice, okay? But the reality is that it's really truly not a invoice in this system. What it is is what you're gonna print out to send with that shipment. So the customer on the other end is gonna get what he believes is an invoice. They're gonna pay off that, okay? Now in the next video, I'm gonna to explain to you why uh, this system does that, okay? Now it is possible, and I'm gonna tell it to empty the print queue because it'll, it'll track that as well. Uh, so I'm gonna quit, we'll go back to the track order status. Now you see that this was a W before, now it's a C, which means it's confirmed. It's a confirmed order. And if I go back to my print queue, we see that, uh, well, because I didn't finish printing that other one, see, it, I didn't print them both, and that's why that's showing up now, that it's a confirmed order that's never been printed, okay? So just to make the system look right, I'm gonna go ahead and go through that. And, and print that invoice or that confirmed order for that ticket. But it did that because I skipped the automation part and, and I skipped out on, uh, on the uh, printing of the way it normally would. So I've got those two that have been confirmed today, okay? They both got the same confirmed date. Now, the next video, we're going to look at how we would then post the shipment uh, once that uh, product was delivered to the customer, and then I'll explain in a little bit further why we do it that way. So thanks for watching the video.